Hello dear friends, welcome back to English Flex. Today we will complete our idea about expressing necessity uh, in English. Uh, in part one, we talked about uh, two modal verbs used to express necessity in English uh, according to two degrees. One very strong degree that is uh, must and the other is have to let me remind you to somewhat with what we have said before we said that we have must to express necessity this is in the present case must is always followed by verb in an infinitive form in the base form must is used in two cases as we have said before number one if something is so important so uh, obligatory uh, vital we can say you don't have any choice don't have any choice within don't have any choice choice within uh, so we use must like we say you are in a hospital you must be quiet and also we use the must in a second case that i can obligate myself without any other person to obligate me or to force me to do because something is very important to me me i mean by me the speaker or the subject of the sentence if something is very something is very essential for me i use must like i like we have said before uh, this is my father's birthday so i must call him to say happy birthday Day. and also we talked about have to and has to have to remember that we use have to with i they you and has to we use has to with he she he and she and say have to is a second degree uh, compared to must that is to say we have a special condition outer conditions from outside that obligate me or force me to do something but still i have some choice here or some choices here uh, maybe 80 percent i'm obligated to do but i can do i can have some choices i can have some rest here about have to and has to we say have is uh, negated by do not we say don't have to do not have to and has to doesn't have to in the past form we take as had to as a past necessity we take had to and also we say when we use had to we can use uh, the uh, helping verb did the helping verb did so had to didn't have to and so on yesterday i had to wait at the bus stop for an hour waiting for my friend or like that uh, remember well my friend that native speakers mostly use have to has to and had to instead of must and remember also that i told you that must in a present case to express obligation in the past form we use had to instead of must so must have to and has to all past necessity change into had to today we'll complete our lesson about necessity and we'll take need needn't needn't have any the difference need to also and the difference between needn't and needn't have i hope you can understand my lesson well follow me and try to get the idea well We come to talk about the third verb to express necessity or to express obligation. We have need to and needs to. Remember need, I, I need, I can say, I need, they also need, we need, you need and the needs he needs and she needs he and she needs so i need they need we need you need needs he and she needs remember also that need and the needs too are followed by infinite forms and but the, what is the difference or before the difference let's talk about some examples using need to when i say for example 
I have no sugar. I need to buy some. I am hungry. I need to have a sandwich. Uh, so remember here, or notes here that the necessity here is inside. The necessity here is personal. The necessity here is uh, inner or are built on, uh, built on inner conditions. What do you mean by inner? Related, personally related to the one speaking or related to the subject of the sentence. So I'm hungry. Who's hungry? I. So I need to eat. I need to have some, some food. It's my need to do. It's my, it's a personal need. So I have to do. Uh, I need to do. Remember, my friends need to and need to are equal to have and has. But the main difference is one. Have and has, the outer conditions make the obligation or the necessity. But need and needs, the inside, the personal conditions make the necessity or the importance. It is important for me, so I need to do. If we wanted to change need to and needs to um, into a negative form, so need change into do not need to, do not need to. And the needs doesn't need to, doesn't need to. Like if I say, she doesn't need to buy bread. She has a lot. She doesn't, look at doesn't need to buy bread as she has a lot. There is no necessity here. She doesn't want, she doesn't need. So, so she need, she does not need to buy. And here, there is, uh, um, if we wanted to talk about the question using need, as we said before, regarding have and has to, these are simple, simple present verbs. So we can use uh, a need, we can use the helping verb do. So, and with needs, we can use the helping verb does. And if we want to change it into negative does not with needs and do not with need. Um, and if we change into the past necessity or the past symbol of the need, it will be needed. The past symbol will be needed. Like when I say, for example, I needed to buy sugar yesterday. I needed, past symbol verb, final ed, to buy some sugar yesterday as I didn't have any. With the negative form, change into a negative form, did, didn't need, because this is in the past symbol, did not need plus the two plus the infant form. So I didn't need to buy. Uh, as for the question, we use here the helping verb in the past symbol. We'll use did because that is the helping verb of the past symbol. So if I say, for example, did you need to buy some sugar or to buy any sugar? Did you need to buy sugar? Did you need to buy sugar? Yes, I needed to buy some. No, I didn't, I didn't need to buy any. This is for the past necessity. So what about need to and the needs? Need, needs present and the needed in the past. If we wanted to talk about the helping verbs in the present, need, do, needs, does, and for, needed, did. And what is the main difference between need to and have to? I said, outer conditions with have, but inner conditions or personal conditions with need and need to. Okay, the verb need. Without need to need can be used as a as a model verb. That's to say, like must, like uh, like may, like will, and it can be followed by bear infinitive verb in an infinitive form, verb in an infinitive form or a base form without to, a base form without to, and the uh, the opposite or I can see the negative form will be needn't 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 
plus the infinitive form also infinitive form it is the same idea if i say need plus infinitive need to plus infinitive it is the same if i say need plus yes look if we wanted to have if we wanted to have example look at this example my friends if i say i need go home exactly true need this is an affirmative sentence need in the present symbol and after that we get the base in front of uh, the base form of the verb that is go and if you wanted to change this sentence into negative, I will say, I needn't, I needn't go home. Needn't, needn't go home. So this is the negative form of the verb. So need can be used as a model verb, like must, like may, like will, like can. To express necessity, I need go home. It is the same idea if I say I need to go home. This is the same. I needn't go home. It is the same if I say I don't need to go home. The same? Yes, it is the same idea. But here we have to know another idea. What is this idea? Let's move to. What I aim to give you an idea about it now. What is the difference if I say needn't? plus infinitive form of the verb and the needing to have plus the past participle need present necessity or negative necessity or lack of necessity plus infinitive form and the needing to have plus a past participle form of the verb this is a past necessity or past lack of necessity let's see the difference between them if i say i need to go to work today as it is holiday and I needn't have gone to work what is the difference between these two sentences I say I need to go to work today this sentence and the second one I needn't have gone to work what is the difference between these two sentences but the main difference between them this is needn't the first one needn't plus the infinitive form the second one needn't have plus gone this is the first participle but there is a difference in meaning needn't go work needn't to go to work today this means i don't go to work i don't need to go because it's a holiday i don't go okay but needn't have gone this means I went to work, but it wasn't necessary. It wasn't important to go. So needn't plus the infinitive form, the action isn't done because it is not important to be done. It is not vital to be done. But needing to have plus the past participle mean the action was already done and it wasn't needed to be done it wasn't important it wasn't necessary to be to be done okay i hope you understand this idea well <laughs>
or don't have or doesn't have أنا she takes does or don't of course does or doesn't and after doesn't we get a base form or a verb with us yes a base form so it is excellent doesn't have another one Helen is ill she does stay in bed this is a strong necessity this is a strong necessity she has no choice here she must or don't have to or mustn't or have to yes think about it excellent must stay in bed another one i have enough meat in my fridge so i dash go to the butchers today i have enough so there is no need to do no need to buy meat so i should or must or needn't or mustn't yes excellent needn't i don't need so i needn't go another one I dash do more exercises. I'm too fat. This is a very strong necessity. So I have to, or mustn't, or must, or needn't. Yes, I, it's so important here to do. So important. So I, excellent, I must. I must do a lot of exercise. Another one, I juice, we had a lot in the fridge, I need to buy, didn't need to buy, and needn't have bought, we have a lot in the fridge, so I didn't buy, so I didn't need to or needn't have bought, remember, this sentence is in the past symbol, so what is the correct answer here yes i needn't have and remember my friends i said needn't have done needn't have bought means what i bought but i didn't need to buy i did the action but i shouldn't have done it thanks my friends for following me i hope you understand my lesson well see you soon goodbye